the University of Cape Town, focusing on art uh, institutions, collections and curation. The first Great Texts, Big Questions lecture series was led by artist, curator and art historian Temi Kosikoniwe, in which he tackled art and discontentment in the time of decolonizing the university. While the series highlights the need to open questions around the reactions and interventions of burning of artworks, removal of artworks from public display and subsequent contentious debates around the safety of artworks. Well, to tell us more, we are joined by South African curator and choreographer and director Jay Pather, who is speaking to us in his capacity as uh, the uh, Institute for Creative Arts Director. A very good morning to you, Jay, and a uh, warm welcome to Morning Lab. Morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, Jay, if you could please briefly take us through what the Great Text's Big Questions is and what was the inspiration behind holding a series of these lectures? Well, they're, they're two parallel things. I mean, the Great Text Big Question lectures are a series of lectures that, that very often cover um, authoritative texts or or a big question, a, a big uh, burning question in the society at the time. Um, but there, there are, you know, parallel to this is the works of art committee that have been working on a series of events around um, a, a re-education, I guess, of the curation of artwork in uh, in public spaces on the on the campus. There have been a series of events that have led up to this. The artwork stars team that have come up with a series of uh, recommendations on how to. Um, how to develop artwork on the campus that that is not is not divisive that is uh, that best uh, reflects the contemporary moment what we are about right now so these lectures and the talks and then the event on Thursday evening at the Jamison Hall um, are, uh, are mainly a kind of a public interface about what the the workings of that uh, of this committee um, um, might be and the intellectual ideas the the artistic ideas the visions that that may inform us as we go into this kind of unknown territory of of redress inside of this university and to 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 take on this project of making a university space more reflective of who we are as a nation right now because right now it isn't so and it's acknowledged that it isn't so and uh, in in this process of trying to change it we are looking at what are the ideas behind how we change it so that uh, you know we we work consultatively and and work with a with an interface with public that uh, that can be productive and more layered Wow, Jay. So why are these discussions about art, about institutions, about these collections and curations so important? Would you uh, just put the discussion into context for us, please? Well, I mean, you know, I, I think it may, be, it may come down to the fact that, you know, sometimes you could, you know, for, for many years we've been passing, uh, passing university halls or, or, or practically any kind of public space. And a number of these, uh, these works that have been put up, etc., um, I I guess it's a combination of how we, uh, we, we, we lower the importance of art maybe and we don't pay much attention to it or it hasn't been paid much attention to uh, up, to, up to now. Uh, and you, you, you take it for granted. And I think that this, uh, in the events at UCT have signal that we, that we can't. And we, you're suddenly aware of how, um, how, uh, how pervasive uh, colonial inscription is in our spaces, and so the, the, the you know, the, and there have been there have been some really drastic events. For example, that one t terrible day when when artworks, when about eight artworks and um, many many portraits were uh, were destroyed by students as a result of a series of ongoing protests. So there was there was there was a moment like that, and then there were series of transformation ideas. So. All of these have to do with artworks, but you know, separating them is useful to understand how then we can ensure that something like this doesn't happen again. How do we ensure that the, the spaces that we are making are so reflective and so deeply indicative of who we all are that, uh, that there isn't this, uh, uh, this distension between who the people of South Africa 
uh, are and, uh, and, and, and what are these, uh, these representations. And it's really important to try to get this right. Uh, but it's, you know, it'll, take a, it'll take a while, but uh, we, we're embarking on it. And I think that these events uh, and these talks, these discussions are meant to, uh, to, to generate the kind of debate that will inform a more uh, mediated curatorial policy than, and hopefully we'll, we'll get it right. I'm, I'm quite confident we'll get it right, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get it right uh, sooner than later. I think we're, we're, all, uh, uh, we're all anxious for it to happen quite soon because obviously uh, these, these, you know, when, you, when you're constantly um, uh, encountering colonial inscriptions, it does, uh, it's, it's not great for psychic or mental health and it's certainly not, it's not good for, for, the, for the tenor of the It of absolutely the isn't. Which is the learning space so um, yeah we're, we're hoping that that these are these these stop being just acrimonious and difficult and are more informative in how we can actually develop this the space and I, I think I think it would be hopefully a, 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 a way forward for for many many such public institutions to to take this forward uh, you know I mean at the, at the University of Cape Town for example right now about uh, you know, after the statistics were done, there were about 80% of the artwork is by white artists. Now, you know, something like that is quite simple in terms of trying to change it, but our identities are fluid and they are shifting. So, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a task. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite a mouthful there, Jay. But the first lecture was done uh, by curator artist uh, um, Teminkosi Koniwe. Tell us more about some of the right. insights that came from that discussion and some of the ideas that were just passed around in terms of moving forward in closing the distance and closing the gap between us as South Africans. As you say, our cultures are quite uh, just fluid. Yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, you know, his his uh, particular lecture uh, dealt with discontentment, and and it was a very important opening lecture because it it set the kind of framework around which the rest of these work uh, these lectures will work. Um, you know, I think I think that the point about these these ideas is that they're not just um, they're not just about lack. They're not just about what is missing? I think in the in the subsequent ones, the the, the lectures now by uh, Dr. Same and Luli and and Kule Mabaso, uh, also Andrew Lamprecht, they they're talking about the future. They're talking about a revisioning, and I guess the ideas of discontent uh, of discontentment are are about a. a are about a lack of representation, but they're also about needing needing to to plummet the depths of what art is capable of, which is about um, about creating a, a kind of a, uh, uh, an, an image of the future, or an, an image that that is sustain that's sustainable. We can't. We mustn't remember. All, we mustn't forget. Sorry that the that our students are and our staff uh, and and the public are interacting with these spaces daily, you know, and, and that it's not like going in, inside of an art gallery. So uh, we have to combine the display of artworks like you would with the gallery, but with this uh, encounter with the public space and oh, how right. you get, you, you, you know, you get both right is going to be the, the task. Well, Jay, it's certainly been an interesting discussion with you. I could talk to you all morning long. Thank you so much for making the time to speak to us on Morning Live and just giving us uh, more insights. All right. That is Jay Pathé, South African curator, choreographer and director, speaking to us in his capacity as uh, the Institute for Creative Arts Director, uh, telling us more about how important creative arts discussion uh, titled Great Takes Big Questions are taking place on Wednesday, the 11th of October at 6 p.m. at UCT is important. Time for a quick break. We'll be back.